I'm gonna let you in on a secret. If you wanna have the best protein shake you've ever had in your life, and let's say you're on a bulk, so you don't really have to watch the amount of carbs you're consuming, may I recommend that you mix your protein powder with a Take your hand off it. It's a bit early in the video to fucking bust yet, but pace yourself and we're gonna have a good time. Let's go, baby. And welcome back to your mum's favorite channel on YouTube, Cold Strength. Exciting times today, guys. We're doing a full day of eating and training. I don't see a point in doing a full day of eating on a rest day because I don't eat as much and that's kind of boring. Rest days suck. It is bench press day. It is week three of the Barbarian bench press program. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you all the food that I eat and all the drink that I drink, because that counts too. Now I am 18 weeks out of a big competition. This is the big one I'm coming back for. You know, this is uh, exciting for me to get myself back on that big scene um, and, and do something cool again, you know? so. You know, in terms of my nutrition, it's really important over the next 18 weeks. I do want to put on a few kilos still, uh, but I want it to be good quality weight. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of volume of food and also a lot of volume in training so we can utilize that food and turn it into muscle so it don't just get stored as fat because no one likes a big fatty. That's, a, that's, a, that's not true. Some people are really lovely, but what I'm saying is I'd rather be fucking jacked than fat that would suck for me personally and maybe you i've been fat before actually to be honest with you and i wasn't very happy about it anyway um i'm driving to the gym now it is about nine o'clock in the morning and the first meal i'm having today now i'll be honest with you life's a little chaotic at the moment I've got a lot of a lot of stuff going on a lot of cool stuff um, but it's a little difficult time wise to be prepared so today you're going to see what it's like eating on the go because I'm going to be at work all day. Uh, I've got clients in, I've got training, and I've got work to do, and I've got food to eat. So you're going to see, you know, uh, I guess how I put it together on the fly, which is fun in itself, I think. It's like a little game, like a little chess game, trying to hit my macros, trying to get my protein up, my carbs up, keep my fats reasonably, reasonably low, not too low, but we don't want to go crazy with the fats. But uh, yeah, I'll give you guys an idea of, of what I do and uh, maybe you lay some options out for you so if you're ever you know in a bit of a rut with food that you can uh, still get it done and still get some good food in but i'm gonna smash this shake down and obviously today with the food as i edit the video i'll chuck up the uh the macros on the on the screen for you so you can see the total fat carbs and protein and calories uh, and we'll add them up at the end of the day guys but you know i think it's gonna be cool this meal here's shake this is about 70 grams of carbohydrates, about 60 grams of protein, about five grams of fat. It's a uh, mass gainer shake, you could say. Um, the, you know, it tastes all right. It's a bit fucking chunky, but got some milk in there. And that's a good way to start the day, guys. A lot of carbs, 70 grams of carbs, 60 grams of protein. And on my way to the gym, I'm gonna stop and grab a bit of food. Uh, that'll be, I guess, my first meal of the day. Uh, this is just a kickstarter because i want to get some training done at about 11 30 to give me some time to digest so i can utilize that food correctly and uh yeah i'm going to split my training up today as well such a big fucking session it's a three and a half hour session so i'll do some in the uh, a.m i'll do the main stuff in the morning have some more food and we'll come back in the afternoon and we'll fucking get a sick pump with some uh back and arms i'm fucking pumped for it i'm sure you're pumped for it take your hand off it it's a bit early in the video to fucking bust yet but Pace yourself and we're gonna have a good time. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, we made it. I did make a little stop at McDonald's. It was a tactful stop though. It's not just a reckless McDonald's stop. You have to understand there is purpose behind this brown paper bag. So don't judge me, we'll go over that. So I'm gonna eat in a second. I'm gonna weigh myself first. I like to weigh myself <coughs> when I get to the gym. See what I weigh, you know, obviously. So, girls are training this morning. <coughs> Sarah, Trin, Tori, hey. I'm not one of the girls though. Luckily.
Alrighty. <clears throat> Hopefully around 140 morning weight would be lovely. Um, because I'm trying to get myself up to around 143, 144. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright, there we go. 140.2.1. Happy days, I'm going to have some food now. We'll talk in a sec. Alright guys, so we have, uh, I guess, my first meal meal. Second meal, if you want to count the mass gain shake, which I will count, really, is technically a meal. Uh, so this is meal two, and we have McDonald's. Now, as I said, I haven't just gone and bought McDonald's recklessly. We have a bacon and egg muffin with double egg. So two eggs, a little bit of bacon. We have a hash brown, which is okay. And we have some hot cakes with syrup. I'm not gonna put the butter on them because I'm trying to watch my fat content, but the, uh, the syrup, however, that is fair game. That is carbs, baby. And that is what we want, because I am training in an hour. It has just gone 10 o'clock. So I'll train in about an hour's time, once it's digest a little bit, and we'll be good to go. Um, you know, and it's, I need to think about, I've got a fucking two big sessions today, so I need to fuel myself correctly. Now I also have this orange juice, East Coast orange juice. This is my favorite. Uh, this is just oranges and water. There's nothing added to it. And the entire bottle have 100 grams of carbohydrates, um, no fats, and no protein, obviously, but that's my carbohydrate source for um, drinking with my meals today. Water's cool, but it doesn't have any calories, and uh, when it goes in your belly and fills you up, it's got to have some calories if you're trying to put some weight on. That's my philosophy. Um, but I'm going to get stuck into this now, and then I'm going to do a session. You can watch me eat for a bit. I'm going to speed it up, because otherwise it's fucking boring. If I have anything interesting to say, well, I'll fucking say it. Got a few people training in the gym. I'm literally just sitting in the middle of the gym eating and making sure you're doing your stuff. Tori, do it properly. See, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just letting them know that I'm making sure you're still training properly. Tay, what are you doing? <laughs> and I can also watch this back after and see what people are doing behind me and if they're bludging, you know, give them shit. It's a fun day. At the moment there is. I'm kind of outnumbered. It's like seven chicks. And me. So it's pretty scary. It's pretty scary. <clears throat> you know, there's some uh, macros for this meal as well. Uh, the hot cakes themselves, with just the syrup, no butter. Uh, we're looking at about 600 calories. <coughs> Sorry, 550 calories. Um, looking at about 12 grams of fat, um, 10 grams of fat, 10 grams, 10 grams of protein, and nearly 100 grams of carbs, just in the hot cakes with the syrup, and then the bacon and egg as well. You know, we're looking at with the extra egg. We're looking at about 30, 30 grams of protein, um, about 10 grams of fat, and another 25 grams of carbs. So. Yeah, that's pretty good so far. We'll add that up and we'll chuck it up on the screen. The juice, I'll go through about a litre of this. It's about 50 grams of carbs for breakfast. Um, yeah, that's, as I said, you know, it all adds up. And, you know, I like to get at least one to two little meals in before I train in the morning. Uh, and on, a, on an optimal day, I'll split my sessions into two because that's the optimal way to train. You get more done, better quality, get some food in between. Um, you're going to hold on to that muscle tissue and you're going to build some more a lot easier if you have, obviously, calories in your body. He's talking. He's, he's talking shit about me. It's fair enough. It's fair enough. I do. I, I am responsible for the suffering. That you go through daily. Oh, I know. Oh, 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 I'm not talking out of school, all right, Reese? Hey, no. actually Are you pumped for the games? No pumped for the games. Sure. 
I will. I used to have one before. Gonna do a booty program. I'll use myself as the model. Awkward, right? Sarah. Sarah's been doing, how long have you been doing Barbarian for? Um, this is week two, day two. How are you finding it? Um, I'm cooked. She's, cooked. <laughs> She's pretty cooked normally anyway. She's but, um, and give I'm a good cook. But she's normally just cooked and now she's good cooked. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Improvements. <laughs> Make sure they're not bludgeoning. Stop making excuses. I'm doing the work, I'm just complaining about it. <laughs> it sounds something like what I do. Just have a little bitch. It's fair enough. I'm getting sweaty right now. Need some napkins. <laughs> Very moist, very moist right now. It's very hot. It's like 30 degrees Celsius, which is very hot for you Americans. Hot cakes, baby. As I said, without the butter, because I'm not chasing extra fat right now, but the carbohydrates. Hell yeah. We'll just be brutal and eat it with our hands like a fucking animal. Wrap up like little pikelets. Oh yeah. We'll see if we can go one bite for this one. Nah, fuck it, it's too much. I look like a, a dickhead. Gotta be a professional, you know. Well, there's, uh, there's that. I'm gonna digest now and uh, do some coaching. And then I'm gonna uh, get ready for a training session. We've got bench press, tempo bench. We're gonna go heavy today, baby. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. You know, week three of the Barbarian Bench Press Program, 18 weeks out. Heavily motivated, motherfucker. I'm ready to fucking do this shit. Ready to put the work in. Let's go, we'll talk soon. All right, gang, it is almost time to start training. It's time to start warming up almost, but it is first pre-workout time. Now, today we have a personal, personal favorite, 5150, Mr. Rich Piana, one of my favorite pre-workouts. So that's cool. Um, and for my intra-workout hydration, a liter of Maximus, but I'll wash down my pre-workout because I dry scoop it because I'm straight. Um, and if you don't dry scoop it, well, Hey, that's cool. I ain't saying shit, but you know what's up. Also, if you don't dry scoop it, I'm going to have to take your mum out for dinner again. Um, respectfully, of course. Respectfully, of course. She had a lovely time. Uh, just ask her and she will tell you. Anyway, we'll get this done. We'll get it down. You know, I think it's important to dry scoop it because, you know, dry scoop a day keeps the or the homosexuality away. It's just a joke though, guys. Don't take it seriously. I'm not a homophobe, I'm just having a fucking laugh. You know what I'm saying? Don't go canceling me. I really couldn't give a fuck what you do. Let's go. <laughs> Washed it down, yummy yummy, in my tummy. I didn't choke. That's what she said. Let's go, baby. All right, gang, so we're about to start my session. Uh, this is day one, week three of Barbarian Bench Press Program. So I've got sets of six, full sets with a tempo. But first, 
I'm going to work up to a conservative single for stimulus. Now this is a little Easter egg. If you're following along with the Barbarian program on YouTube, then I give you permission on week three. Because we have dropped two sets down from week one, you have permission to attempt a single, but we're going to make it a four second eccentric, okay? So one second slower than your rep work has been for a single, no bounce at the bottom, um, and then you're going to then proceed to drop back and get in your four sets of six at the planned weight. For me today, it'll be around the 170, 172 and a half mark, I believe, for sets of six, and I'd like to hit a nice comfortable single at around 190 to 200 with a really nice slow controlled tempo on the way down. Uh, so that's your little uh, bonus, I guess, for this week, for this session, is we get to do that, okay? So I'm gonna work up to that now. I'm not gonna talk too much during warm-ups or the working sets, we're just gonna get to it, get cracking into it. I'll put some fucking music over this shit and uh, we'll have some fun, baby. Let's go. All right, gang, so final warm-up is done, 190 kilos, feeling nice. Now, tempo bench pressing, the speed is not key here, obviously. I'm trying not to use any momentum, any bouncing off my chest. Nice and controlled movement the entire way. So it may not look speedy, but it felt pretty good. So 200 kilo top set, that's the goal. I think there'll be a few kilos left in the tank, um, but we'll see. And then I'm gonna drop back to 172 and a half kilos and get my working sets four by six in for the Barbarian bench press program week three day one main bench press so that's going to be the, the challenging one i believe even though this is heavier for the top single uh, i believe the working sets will be far more challenging as a whole so we'll get cracking into that it's going to be fucking tough but uh we'll chat when i get through those four sets let's go baby
All right, gang, that's the bench press done. Top single and four sets of six. Now, I've got to say, that was RPE fucking 10, borderline 11. Uh, I was struggling to lock out rep six. I just got there on the three sets, and the last set, I just missed it. Uh, however, I waited 30 seconds and did the repetition because I ain't missing no fucking reps. So I ended up doing half a rep extra. That's a win. That's a fucking win. But that's just the first exercise down, guys. I'm going to punch in now. I've got three sets of 20 on the incline dumbbells. I'm going to use the 50 kilo dumbbells today. Hopefully, I can get three sets of 20 out. If not, I'll get as close as I can. Uh, you know, that's the kind of heaviest dumbbell I have. But the next one's down or too light. I did them last week. So that's my progression. And then three sets of 20 shoulder press on the machine. Then I'm going to have some lunch, have a protein shake. Uh, we'll chat a little bit then, and I'll come back in a few hours after that and get the rest of my session in, which is a fuck ton of back and a shitload of arms because we're chasing them gains and we're getting a huge fucking pump. And I'm feeling pretty fucking good. And keep in mind, you know, I did a top single with a four count down, four count eccentric. My working sets, three count. Now I know some of the last reps might have been a little bit quick, but fucking hard, doing the best I can to get the work done there. It's fucking more than 30 degrees here today, I think. It's steaming hot, and I feel fucking disgusting in my guts. Uh, not hungry at all, but I'm gonna have to get some food in, aren't I? Because that's how you fucking grow. So I'm happy with that, you know. Tempos are pretty difficult for me, because if you've seen my bench normally, I bench with z literally zero fucking tempo on the way down. I drop that motherfucker into my chest to save maximum energy for a maximum press. But this will translate nicely when I go back to that, uh, having all that time under tension, the hypertrophy working the stabilizers. I'm excited about it. Let's get to work. Guys, there is the, uh, the first session done for the day. Now it's time for some uh, post-workout nutrition. Carbs and protein. Well, heavy on the carbs, heavy on the protein. Uh, now, I'm gonna let you on a secret. If you wanna have the best protein shake you've ever had in your life, and let's say you're on a bulk, so you don't really have to watch the amount of carbs you're consuming, may I recommend that you mix your protein powder with a McFrappe from McDonald's. Now, get no cream because that's extra fat, we don't really need it. Uh, but without the cream, we're looking at around 90 grams of carbs and 15 grams of fat, 
with about eight to nine grams of protein just in that. And I'm gonna add two scoops of this for another 50 grams of protein. So we're looking, we're hitting close to 60 grams of protein, 90 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of fat for a post-workout shake, um, which is really, really fucking good and delicious and ice cold, motherfuckers. Um, but I'm really happy with that, you know, that first part of the session. It was really hard. It was really, really difficult today. I'm fatigued. Week three of the program and the fatigue starting to hit. Luckily, next week, the volume does drop off a little bit as planned um, because we have to plan for the fatigue as well. So as we roll on, I think things will start getting better and we'll also start to acclimatize to the volume because it takes time to get used to that as well. Your body needs to get used to it. Uh, but I've increased my, my calories to make sure that I grow. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this together real quick. I chuck it into the protein shaker because it's easy to mix it up that way. I just pour this motherfucker straight in. Oh yeah, baby, splatter around a bit. Delicious. And then two scoops. I've got the Collagen Pro by Cyborg. Um, you know, it's really good quality protein. 25 grams in one scoop, minimal carbs, minimal fats. Um, really good. In the mornings, I use the Cyborg as well, but I use their meal replacement shake. Uh, which is higher in carbohydrates. Got two scoops. We'll chuck her into there. Oop. Give her a mix. And get her down. But yeah, so, you know, top single on bench press, 200 kilos, with a four count on the eccentric. And then four by six with a three count eccentric at 172 and a half. Uh, followed by three sets of 20 uh, with the incline dumbbells, 50 kilos, and Set to 20 on the shoulder press. I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have another meal before I train as well, a small meal, a snack, because my appetite's a bit fucked, but uh, you can still get calories in, trust me. If you struggle to eat solid food sometimes, especially when you're working very intensely with training and it's very hot, it can be very difficult sometimes to eat. So, you know, some little cheat codes, which I think everyone could make use of, because you're still gonna get it in, baby. Uh, I've got to fuel myself for this afternoon, because I've lost a lot of fluids, it's very hot. Um, very tired, but you know, I should feel a little better in two hours and uh, we'll chat at the next meal. I'm gonna down this Don't need to film that and um, I'll do a little uh, tally as well of where we're up to with the calories for the day And yeah, we'll get it. We'll talk soon. Let's go, baby All right guys, so I'm about to uh, get started with my well, second half of my session. I got uh, a Lot of back work and a lot of arm work to go, but I definitely need to get some more protein some more carbs in some more food so I'm gonna do that. Now I've got some McDonald's chicken nuggets. Is it ideal? No. Does it get the job done? Absolutely yes. 15 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein, 15 grams of fats. My fats are down pretty low at the moment, they're under 40 grams, so I can afford to have 15 grams more fat right now. Uh, I just wanna keep that you know, around the 100 to 110 mark by the end of the day. So I've got a bit of wiggle room there. And I've also got two yogurts. Uh, each one of these has 11 grams of protein, uh, no fat and 13 grams of carbs, so you know it's pretty good rounded, uh, rounded little snack slash meal. And of course, finish my orange juice off, and then I'll get started with the um, with the back work for the uh, afternoon session. But you know, I am feeling pretty full, like you know, putting on weight and stuff like that, especially when your energy expenditure is quite high, can be difficult. It can be very difficult, you know. You gotta eat, eat, eat because you're uncomfortable. If you wanna grow, that's how it goes, you know? There's not really a way around that. Now, as you can see, I'm on the go today. I don't really, didn't have anything really prepared. Life's been very chaotic. Um, some big, big things happening personally, positive things, but it definitely uh, makes time very challenging at the moment. So, as I said, there's no excuses. You still gotta get it done. I'm not sitting here making excuses, saying I have no time, I can't do this, can't do that. I can still make this work, and so can you. And you've got to understand that, and you've got to do that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's fucking uh, almost four o'clock. Um, I'll get training soon, I'll finish this food. I'll finish this, I'll speed it up, because it's boring as shit sitting here watching me eat this shit. Um, but, you know, 
You really want to put this, this food to work, utilize these calories. Um, you know, it's, it's an excellent way. Doing two sessions a day, you know, you're really pumping, you know, <laughs> literally the food into your muscles. Um, you know, if you don't train and you eat, well, you get fat, right? You've got to utilize it. And I'm putting in a lot of fucking work, a lot of volume, double the amount I'm normally putting in. So I've really got to up the calories to make sure I'm not losing weight, to make sure I'm putting on weight. As I said, my supplement stack at the moment, I've just increased things a little bit. So in two weeks or so, three weeks or so, I'll start feeling the benefits of that. But I do have to increase my calories for that as well to, to receive maximum benefits. So I'll crack into this now, get it down. I'm gonna get back in the gym in a minute, just enjoying some nice fresh air. It's really nice out here. Uh, but we'll talk in a sec. I'm gonna smash this out. Give me a minute. done I'll drink my juice when I go inside it's time to get to work baby I've got back work arms I won't be doing any talking I'll montage this shit with some music some bangers you know what's up and we'll catch up afterwards for our post-workout nutrition and then we got dinner Alright guys, so there's the end of the fucking training for the day. That was a lot of fucking training. I am absolutely fucked. Now when you split your sessions into two, it may seem easier, but you actually work a lot harder because you kind of freshen up a little bit 
and you attack those accessories with even more intention and more weight because you can you've had that fuel in between that's what i mean that is optimal now not everybody gets that opportunity or that privilege i wouldn't call it a privilege actually i work very hard for the opportunity to do this um and you know i take advantage of that you know i'm here all day most days so you know when i can i take advantage of training twice a day to maximize my fucking gains and that's what's up but now got one protein shake one more two scoops 50 grams you know ideally ideally sure you want to have more real food right but there's also the issue of when you're bulking when eating a lot of food and you know training is hard appetite sometimes just ain't there and you know when my mental health is sort of when I'm stressed out, when I'm a little bit fucked up, you know, my stomach is the first thing to go. When I'm under a lot of stress at the moment, not that it's all negative, but stress is stress, and my appetite really disappears really quickly. But uh, I found that using shakes and things like that, that definitely helps, keeps me on track, keeps me going, and that's what it's about. So I'm gonna get this down. I've still gotta have dinner, still gotta have dessert, so we'll chat soon. And uh, yeah, it's been a good fucking session. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, so uh, just not long ago, got home. Uh, it's nearly nine o'clock. It was a pretty big day. Um, have some dinner now. We got some pad thai, um, large pad thai, extra noodles, three servings of chicken, extra protein, and some veggies, of course. And I'm gonna wash it down with some coke, extra carbs. <clears throat> Why not? Um, I have some dessert as well. I've got some uh, some of my favorites, Daruli. Uh, choc coated raspberry licorice fantastic um i'll uh eat those for dessert i have a couple of uh, protein like a protein uh custard desserts as well which i'll have and i'll chuck those on to the end of the uh end of the day macros probably won't fill my dessert but that's cool you can just uh imagine it that's just as exciting but i'm actually pretty hungry now um big session this afternoon obviously haven't had a hell of a lot of like big meals today, obviously, because as I said, it's really hard to to eat, you know, big solid meals sometimes under stress when it's fucking hot when you're training hard, all that shit. But I'm hungry now. And I tend to have a pretty big appetite at night, so that's what I eat most of my food. So I'll get it in. If I have any interest in it, Dad, you'll know about it. Another fun factoid, my uh, little boy has a uh, vomiting bug, so I'm actually just waiting uh, to start feeling sick. So hopefully I can get through this in my dessert and hopefully I can at least wait till tomorrow because uh, I wanted to finish this video, so fingers crossed. And also, if you enjoyed this video, <coughs> found it useful, entertaining, or whatever, please let me know in the comments. Every time you drop a comment or like my stuff, it helps me exponentially. You know, cracking the YouTube algorithm is a difficult thing, and I can do it with your help. So if you want this channel to continue to grow, I would truly appreciate that. That's a, that's a wrap for dinner. It's uh, just after nine o'clock, obviously, so <clears throat> I got some work to do. I'll probably be sitting up till around midnight as usual, uh, doing editing, you know, replying to clients, programs, etc. My day is tend to end at around midnight, and I uh, get out, get out of bed ideally around seven thirty, eight o'clock. So I get my seven and a half hours sleep. And uh, yeah, my day starts straight away, so it's always a very big day. You know, I work probably at least 12 to 16 hours every day doing something, you know. Um, if I'm doing something for clients, or if I'm working on merchandise, mailing, you know, designs, uh, all sorts of things. There's a lot of things that I do, so it keeps me very busy. 
and uh, pardon me, life gets chaotic, but we get it done. We've got big goals, 18 weeks out, you know, it's a big comp, so I've got to be ready. And it, uh, all the work is not done in the gym, it's done in the kitchen as well, right? You've got to eat, got to sleep, got to train. But I uh, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed today. Obviously, uh, the next food video will probably be the 10,000 calorie challenge, so 10,000 calories in a day. Do you want to see that? Let me know. Also, let me know if you enjoyed today again, what you enjoyed about it. Uh, also, the big session. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Until next time. Well, I'm going to put the, the whole macros here. So, there's my whole day of eating. And, until next time, go to the fucking gym.